Hi, I'm going to show you how to log in via a terminal to RackCam or another HPC cluster of UpMax or UpMax clusters or HPC clusters in general. And I will walk you through the exercise of this. So this session is part of the Intro to UpMax course day one. Um, if you go to the home, then the second real session is so basic use with visual tools. This is where we log in with visual tools and we do file transfer using visual tools. Now we are going to use terminal tools, so we start with logging in via SSH, um, after which we'll be using that terminal and do some file transfer with it. But now we're going to log in um, to RackCam. We've already done this visually with a thin link or a website that has thin link in the back. Um, now we're going to use a terminal. So I'm not going to walk you through what's written here, um, but I'm going to go do the exercise. Exercise 1, a terminal. Go to the UpMax documentation there, then answer these questions. Find the UpMax page on terminals, sure, so I'll just click the word terminals here. Then I get SSH client, I want a terminal I guess, yeah, terminal. Alright, so I have the UpMax page about terminals now. And uh -huh. Sure, I found it. What does it want me to see? What is a prompt? That's the next question. Let's take a look. Hmm, I guess it's this. What does all the stuff on the line I can type on mean? And this gives us the answer. That stuff you see here is called the prompt. And here it's described what it all means. Um, you can read it for yourself. Exercise 2. Install an SSH client if needed. So I have Linux, so I need, don't need to do it. I have it. But let's do this. Find the UpMax page on SSH client. So I go to the UpMax page, UpMax documentation. I press SSH client, client apparently. So here we have the UpMax page. UpMax documentation on SSH clients. So there are more. So in the Linux, it's, it's it's easy to install. It's called SSH on the Mac OS also, but it does need um, X forwarding installed using X quartz. Under Windows, you can use MobX term, or you use SSH from command for later Windows version, or you can use SSH from PowerShell. And these you can find in your Windows program store, whatever it's called. Um, so, that is the overview of SSH client. Try starting a terminal and type SSH and then enter. Let's do it. So, start a terminal. There, make it a bit bigger. And make it full screen, a bit bigger. I have to type SSH and let's see what happens. Ooh, stuff. Alright, I'll make it a bit smaller. There, I see a lot of stuff. So, this means it is there. If I would have typed something that doesn't exist like this, I would get a different error uh, of command not found. But SSH does something so it exists. If there's an error, install the recommend SSH client. I don't have an error, so I can move on. I'm going to log in via SSH now. So we go to the Max documentation, I have it here. Find the page about how to log in to RackM via SSH in the past. So I'm going to copy paste this. Put it in the search box. Let's see if I get it on the first hit. I get it on the first hit. And I guess now I've found the page. I need to log in. Let's do it. So I need to type, this is the procedure. So the procedure is one step, two step, three steps you're in. Let's, let's do it. Step one, use SSH to log in. So I need to do SSH-X, SSH my username at dip. So let's do that. I replace Sven by my UpMax username, which is Richel. I type in my password. And enter. So there's no two-factor authentication needed here. Just my password works. And I've logged in. Um, so this dash X allows you to do X forwarding, whatever that is. The graphics allows you to do graphics. Uh, done, done, done. I'm on a login node. 
I can see that so in my prompt I see Rackham 3 which means I'm in a login node I'm in my home folder I am Richel that's my Upmax username so this is what my prompt tells me all right having done that what is the next exercise exercise 4 find out if x forwarding works find the page about a program called xis all right so that's in the documentation here is a link to that documentation we must take a look search for xis whatever that is there it's on the first hit great i found that page on a rackham login node run xis sure so i'm on the Rackham login node here, I use X eyes, and there I see those eyes. Look and they follow the mouse cursor. Technology nowadays. But close it. So because I can see it, X forwarding worked for me. Um, so if it didn't work for you, uh, take a look on the SSH clients page, we've just seen it to get some hints or googling I'm sorry I can't help you with that in all case or send us an email to support um, so this means I've done all these exercises so I've showed you how to do the exercises on how to log in via a terminal as part of the upmax intro course day one I wish you a very good day bye